Hey everybody, I'm going to um, show you how to create drafting views. So these are just like two dimensional drawings in Revit. So I'm going to start a new project. So all these drafting views are drawn in the same project. You just create a new drafting view for each symbol that you're drawing. So let's take a look at what's what templates we can use. So I'm going to go to let's do the Imperial Architectural Template. Um, yeah, let's do this one. I don't think the book specifies which one to use. So then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to follow along with the book says it says save the project as EX 4-1. So I'm going to file save as project. I'm going to call it EX 4-1. Save that. And then it says, create a new drafting view named bookcase from the view tab. So I'm gonna go up to the view tab. I'm gonna look for drafting view, which is here in the create panel. Um, I'm gonna name this bookcase. Hit okay here. And then let's see what it says. Um, set the line thickness to medium lines. So I'm going to go, up, oh, so first I want to go up to, um, annotate. I'm going to go to detail line. And here I want to go to where it says line style. I'm going to go to medium lines. Um, and then it says draw a rectangle per the dimension shown above, generally in the center of the drawing window. So this rectangle, this bookcase is one foot by three feet. One feet by th one foot by three foot. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna click the rectangle here. I'm just gonna kind of so that's gonna be one foot this way, three feet over here. There we go. Click it. There's our bookcase. Um, yep. So that's all there is for that one. So that's our bookcase, right? Then I'm gonna go up to view again. I'm gonna create another drafting view. And this one is gonna be the coffee table. Coffee table, hit okay there. Notice that our, when, we, when I did that, um, we get, and, and our, Project browser over here, you see the little plus symbol next to dra drafting views. If I click the plus, you notice our bookcase is there. Our coffee table we haven't made yet, but that's bold because that's telling you that's the current one that we're working on. So then I'm going to go back to annotate. I'm going to go to detail line. I, I, we're on medium lines already. So then we're going to create this coffee table that is one foot six by three foot ten and a half. Um, draw the real. I'm just trying to read some back, sure I don't skip anything. Okay, so I'm gonna go up to my little rectangle. I can draw it out here. So, um, one foot six. Probably what I'm doing is gonna make a little box here, and now. For here, I'm going to put one foot six, so just one space six. And then I'm going to click on this dimension. And this one, I'm going to put three, ten, and a half. Uh, okay, I can't do that. Whatever. Let's don't do that. Let's leave the little half. Now let's try this. There we go. So. You don't need to put the little dash in there. I'm used to AutoCAD. Anyway, so there's our um, our coffee table. And then I'll cancel that out of there. Hit the modify to get out of that. So there's that one. And I can go up to view again. Um, I'm going to look for a drafting view. This one is going to be desk-1. Dash I'm going to hit OK. Then I'm going to go up to annotate. Where are you at? Right there. Detail line. Make sure that's medium, and it is. 
So our desk is one foot six by three feet. Um, let's see, one foot six by three feet, Hit the rectangle. I like doing it this way. Let's do it this way. So this is three feet. This is one foot six. I can just go one space six. Hit the modify over here to get out of there. So there's our desk. Now notice all these drafting views are they're in the same project here, but they're all in the they're all different drafting views. Um, night table one foot six. I'll do one more. I think you have the idea. So I'm gonna go up to what am I looking for? Um, view, yeah, view. Sometimes I lose my train of thought. Drafting view. This one is gonna be night table. Hit OK. I'm gonna go up to annotate, detail line. This one is just a square, that's one foot six. Um, huh, huh, huh. One foot six. Oh, I should not have done that. Let me get out of this. Let's use the rectangle here. One foot six. One foot six. There we go. Hit the modify. There we are. So anyway, that's that's kind of how you do it. It's going to kind of create a new drafting view for each of the symbols. Um, try to read along with the book to kind of make sure you don't miss anything. Um, and that should help you out a lot. All right. So if you have any questions, um, don't ask me. Ask someone else. No, I'm kidding. If you have any questions, let me know.